Okay. Oh, OMG. Yo. <laughs> My hair is a mess, but it's okay. I got that. Okay. <laughs> oh, I did not hear I that told, so I told you I was talking. There we go, folks. Let's get into it, shall we? Many of you know that Burger King has come out with its own new vegan, vegetarian sort of line which consists of the vegan chicken royale sandwich, the plant-based waffle which is a beyond meat sort of patty as well as vegetarian or vegan chicken nuggets. It is important to know that not all of these are vegan as they may contain mayo. Always just ask your... I can't get the word. <laughs> Yes. Always just ask your service providers what it contains and if you want to make it vegan obviously take out the mayo or whatever else makes it non-vegan. We did order the vegan chicken nuggets however Mr. Delivery did not show up for us but it's okay we might get it later. If we do get it later then I will insert it in this video otherwise I will show it at another time in one of my next videos. So what we do have to try so far since we don't have the nuggets is we have the plant-based royale which is basically, I read that the patty or the chicken piece is made from soy and wheat protein. So I'm really excited. I've heard a lot of good reviews about that. So my sister and I got one. And then we got the plant-based Whopper as well, which is made with the Beyond Meat patty. I haven't had Burger King, I think, probably in six or seven years. And even before that, I probably only had it twice. It's just not like my go-to fast food restaurant. We don't get it as much in South Africa as many places overseas. But I'm really excited to try these. I have tried the Beyond Meat Patty before though. I personally didn't like it. I've been a vegetarian now for almost four years and I'm not a big fan of anything that tastes like red meat. I gave up red meat probably when I was 15 and I didn't even really eat beef or pork before that. And so I don't really have a liking to that flavor. However, I did buy it to try so I can give my honest review. However, it's important to know that if you do like beef or red meat then maybe you would like it more than me these are just me and my sister's opinions i speak on behalf of those who aren't vegetarian or vegan oh yes i'm vegetarian but my sister isn't and so i asked her to come here so that she can be honest with how close it is to meat how much it tastes like meat okay so it is going to be raining just now so if you hear the thunder i'm really really sorry we're gonna do this as fast as we can so that the thunder and lightning <laughs> doesn't come through onto the video but just to say, we've also gotten, what did we get, Pepsi, we've got two Pepsis and we got some chips as well. Let's first try the waffle. Are you going to try it with me? Yeah. Yes, you can just have like the, the tips. Okay. Um, okay. <laughs> uh, let's just do this. So yeah, the presentation is not that great. It's quite flat, but you know, I haven't had a waffle ever in my life. Even when I did have meat, I didn't ever have like a waffle. I'll just take a piece where there's no tomato. Because... Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay, oh, okay, so this is what it looks like <laughs> the inside. <one> pickle. <laughs> <laughs> no, there's another one there. Oh, okay. This is what it looks like inside. I'm not a fan of tomato and neither is my sister, so we're just gonna remove that. Bye, for now. Alicia. But it comes with like quite a nice sauce arrangement. There's like mayo, there's ketchup, there's pickled onions and some crunched up white lettuce. Yeah, but like also the, the patty seems nice and soft and it's sesame crusted, so let's just try this with so literally not even 10 minutes after i told you guys that it was gonna rain it started raining cats and dogs and i had to quickly grab everything and run in with no shoes my hair wasn't even tied up nearly slipped and cracked my head on the tile floor <laughs> but we made it so i'm sorry if the quality does not look that great i'm just working with what i have Anyway, going on from what I oh that was upside down. Oh no! Oh my god! Oh my god! Ah, I rolled around the the tomato. <laughs> okay, so um, I'm really sorry that y'all had to see that. I'm just gonna let you guys know, just disclaimer. I have a very bad gag reflex, so if I just taste anything that that's bad or smell something that's bad, I'm not feel I'm I'm fine. I just went. <laughs> no, I'm fine. <laughs> My sister said the Pepsi tasted a bit flat, <laughs> but you know what? We gotta it, deal with what we have now. It's not okay. There's no carbonation. It's it's 
coming through it just if you guys can see it's coming through clear like through the straw like there's no bubbles like nothing fuck it let's just try Okay, so I can even get the bite first. <laughs> <laughs> the fact that she says I can take a bite first, but at the same time. Mm. Crunchy to the bone. Mm -hmm. Let me just get a taste of the patty, like by itself. Mm. I'm just gonna pull a squid when eating the Krabby Patty for the first time. <laughs> I think you guys can see inside it's like pickles, the mayo, the patty. It's not really ketchup, it's like a spicy. Mm. So. so, my review on this so far, it's much better than the Beyond Meat that I had <laughs> myself because that was horrible. Not this one, the other one that I had for the first time when I first tried Beyond Meat because everyone was like, yeah, you've got to try Beyond Meat, it's like the best thing ever and I just did not like it. So I was really scared to try this. But this is actually really, really good. It like has a smoky, like bry flavor, which is really, really nice. Meat alternatives can be quite chewy. This is quite tender, I think, and it's like it was easy melts to in your mouth. Okay, I wouldn't say melts in your mouth because <laughs> you had to still chew it. But it was not like tough to eat. It was easy to eat through and get all the flavors. And yeah, it was actually really, really nice compared to what I was initially thinking, what do you think, Nikita? <laughs> I really hope that you guys could not see that on the thing. What do you think of it? It tastes like how you have like soya burgers, like like meat alternative burgers. But it also kind of tastes like a McDonald's cheeseburger without the cheese because there's no cheese on this burger. But like it still has like that like beefy kind of flavor. Mm. Okay, I don't know what beef tastes like because as I said before, I never really had cheeseburgers or anything in my life previously. But I would definitely recommend this if you like the sort of meaty taste but are looking for a more healthier option as opposed to, you know, normal beef burgers. But it was really, really good. I would probably give this like an eight and a half out of thingy just because I would have liked maybe a bit more lettuce inside because I like lettuce in my burgers and this one was quite like flat in terms of the size. But in terms of flavor, it was really, really good. You? Give it a 7 out of 10 because I still got that soya flavor and I'm not very a big fan. But also, I just feel for meat at this point, so I can't, it's clouding my judgment. So, this is the chicken royale. This looks actually more filled with like the stuff than the waffle was. This is what it looks like inside. The breading kind of reminds me what I remember from a kid's happy meal from McDonald's, the chicken one. But obviously it's vegetarian and vegan except for the mayo. But I've heard tons of great reviews from this so I'm excited to have it. This is how big it is to my face. <laughs> Just in case you want a reference. I think this is like a nice lunch sort of option. Open your Royale then you can Oh, I have my... Oh, I have well, it's just seeing comparison. If, if this is how you really know if packaging is done, I'll just open yours. I just want to see the comparison. Yeah, it's like standard. See, they look like almost completely alike, so you know you'll kind of be getting the same thing every single time. Is the sauce underneath? The, okay, yeah. So they have butter on the bat. Mmm. Wrong. Not a fan. I don't mind the salty savvy. <laughs> it's like they just packed on the sodium.
contrary to Seidel's reaction, this is definitely my favorite out of the waffle in this. It definitely tastes like a McDonald's Happy Meal, the chicken one. And I am an expert here at that because I used to have it almost every single week with my best friend when we were younger. This is not at all chewy again, very tender. The flavor, usually when it comes to vegan and vegetarian products, the flavor almost always comes just from the sauces, but I can definitely tell in this that the actual chicken patty inside has a flavor of its own the breading on it as well is really really good i'm not sure why sigil didn't like it i think sigil also has a bit of a texture thing going on with her so she doesn't take easily to certain textures but this was definitely definitely my favorite out of this i would give this like a nine and a half out of ten again i would just like a bit more lettuce on it but the taste is amazing the bun is nice and soft the actual taste of the patty is really really nice i actually want to know where they got this patty from because this sort of tastes like the fries vegetarian soya patty. But I've never actually tasted a vegetarian or chicken alternative quite like this one. But it's really, really nice, you guys. I'm going to try and show you inside what it looks like. I think you guys... Oh, gosh. It's weird. <laughs> I think you guys can see what it looks like inside. Very, very good. I only like certain mayos like Nola. Yeah, no love. Eh? <laughs> I was not a big sauce person on any of her sandwiches or and burgers like in any case. Sauce. Yeah, she doesn't like mayo at all usually. So I'm really proud of her for trying this with me. But I would definitely say to try out one of these two. They were really, really good. And if you're fasting like the rest of most Hindus at this time, definitely go and check out Burger King. I think their stuff can really help feed or satisfy your meat cravings if you are having any i would definitely order either of the two for me the chicken royale as i said was my favorite i gave that a nine and a half and the whopper about an eight or an eight and a half just because in both of them i would have liked a bit more lettuce and also the chicken royale is nothing like i tasted before whereas the whopper is very similar to any other vegetarian burger that i've had let me know in the comments if you guys have tried any of these vegan items and also, if you are going to try any of them, let me know down below as well. I hope that you guys have a wonderful week ahead full with lots of love, happiness, light, positivity, and I guess good meat alternatives from Burger King. Love you guys. Bye. Oh my God. Please put your head up. Your head. <laughs> <laughs> it's like something else. Anyway. Eating the tape. Cody! <laughs> Stop! <laughs> the thunder and lightning. The thunder and lightning. <laughs>